Hey, what is going on, crypto people? Happy Saturday to each and every one of you. Listen, we're going to talk a little bit about some stuff going on with the great taking. I watched another interview today with David Rogers Webb. Shout out to those of you who downloaded the free free PDF um, at the website, thegreattaking.com. Two T's, one T for great, one T for taking. TheGreatTaking.com, download that free PDF. We have to make more people aware of what they, which is what I've always said, old money is trying to do. Gotta pay attention to this. And this is this is going to affect hedge funds. This is gonna affect institutions. This is gonna affect sophisticated, quote unquote, sophisticated investors. We're all part of that collateral taking. We're all part of it. Only the likes of a JP Morgan and maybe a Goldman's are going to be in this quote unquote protected class. So these two, three, four, five, ten, twenty billion dollar hedge funds are not included in this. In other words, they're not exempt from the great taking. They are not exempt they will be part of the great taking. Their assets will be part of the great taking. It's just hugely, hugely important to understand. That. And if you, if it's a little noisy there, excuse me, uh, forgive me, please. Uh, it's a little hot, and I'm trying to keep the phone cool as possible, as humanly possible. So um, that is the deal, there, guys. I just I just heard that again last night and this morning from David Rogers Webb with two Bs. Um, they're part of it. They think that they're not, but they are part of it. This has gone to two states now. Uh, Tennessee, uh, first it was South Dakota, uh, with a bill brought to, to uh, the local rep legislature, uh, legislators and, and Tennessee. Tennessee got the most favorable stuff actually passed in the local Senate there. But then the state treasurer, who was all positive, the following day, following day, two days later, did a complete 180. And David Webb said it's because the the banking lobby, the banking lobby got to them and threatened them. Got to them and threatened them about pulling their financial resources out of the state. Yeah, this is a, it's it's a big deal. It really is. TheGreatTaking.com for uh, for us. TheGreatTaking.com again. Two T's, one at the end of great, and then the other T for taking. Download the free PDF. I challenge you. Oh man, hold on. A what, the, what the hell happened? I challenge you to uh, download that thing and read the prologue. And uh, not continue reading it. It is. It will. It's a. Uh, forgive me. My thing came off here, and that might be because it's hot. I don't know what's going on. Why that came off. But anyway, make sure you guys check that out. Hopefully, this is going to stay. TheGreatTaken.com. Download the PDF. Read the, the free PDF. Read that promo. So for sure, you gotta become more and more aware of what they're trying. What they're trying to do. So hopefully um, we'll figure that out. But in any case, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. It's alarming stuff. Uh, the and amount, from obviously, BlackRock, which everyone knows about. The amount of sophisticated people who do not—I'm talking securities lawyers—who were unaware of this is alarming. They don't know. Think about it. If it's sophisticated hedge funds and their lawyers don't know. But I, I am encouraged that um, there are some people who were able to take a bill, they wrote up a bill and they brought it to the legislative body in um, South Dakota. And also uh, they did something similar in Tennessee. Tennessee had, oh my gosh, Tennessee had uh, uh, better stuff. I guess I'm not gonna be able to do this thing, it keeps coming loose. Tennessee had better, had better stuff. 
So, um, which is, you know, which is cool. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can get this to, I don't know if this is melting away. I don't know why this is happening. But in any case, forgive me. That's pretty cool. Greattaken.com. Oh, so also, uh, the RWA plays are playing out. I looked at Anu. I looked at the other one, IX Swap. Not financial advice, but I would, uh, you know, I would look into it. They're doing things a little different over there. You know how we always say the Andu, the, uh, these RWA, these RWA plays. You can. Um, I'm gonna have to switch this because it, it's. I don't even know if it's gonna work down there. Hold on. You know how we say the RWA plays. You can get the token quote unquote but you can't invest in the actual whatever security tokenized security the platform is offering well IWX you can't you can do that with as little as a dollar so which is interesting and he said in this AMA today YouTube channel I highly encourage you to check it out do you do diligence the YouTube channel is IX swap IX space swap Go check out the AMAs dated June 18th through 19th. I mean, that just happened. Go listen to that, especially the first five, four or five minutes where he he, he illuminates on the difference between a platform like theirs and a platform like Andu. And I think it's hugely important to recognize that or centrifuge, right? These platforms where you can quote unquote get the token, but you can't participate in actually getting tokenized securities. But on this platform, uh, he says that you can. Now, I looked at the KYC. I looked at the KYC. You mouse through the country because he said the KYC was very, uh, it was very, uh, uh, what do you call it? Easy, simple. It's not heavy. It's not a major crazy due diligence. But when I looked, you know, I had my VPN on, but when I looked to mouse over to see if US was there, it was not there. So again, I don't know. I have my VPN on, and I don't know if it because I had the VPN on, the US wasn't showing. I'm not really sure. But I think though, even though if it's not in the US, if you got other countries, you know, you got the vast majority of these countries being able to participate in the securities part, and it's not, they're not excluded because they're not accredited investor. Think about how powerful that is. They're not excluded. They're not excluded because they're not an accredited. Enough. That is massive how they were able to pull this off. Absolutely massive. And the RWA thing is massive right now. It's the second uh, uh, up and to the right behind meme coins. So if you got an RWA play, I just saw some recently got fine wines, um, just got listed. They got a gaming. They got a gaming um, uh, kind of like uh, vault or fund, and it invests. It goes out and invests in different gaming projects that a regular person from uh, Mexico can participate because it doesn't exclude. It doesn't exclude regular people. It's for retail, in addition to accredited investors. For little as a dollar, you can't do anything as an accredited investor for little as a dollar. So that I, I think that's a game changer. And they don't—they're operating on you know, they—they're not in the treasuries and bonds and all that other stuff. They do other equities, which I really really like. So anyway, um, it's feeling like that uh, Palau ID, <laughs> that digital ID from Palau, um, is making it worth the investment. I know uh, a couple of people have that. Um, XRP entertaining content creators do who have that um, ID. So, or I should say, XRP content creators who have that. Yeah. So, in any case, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's IX Swap. Do you know how much you do, Dylan? Just the numbers are pretty awesome uh, right now. I wrote down the numbers. I apologize that I can't do the regular video, but this thing is just not it's not cooperating regular driving video but IX swap here 
uh, total supply 180 million circulating 174 million of the 180 million it's on ETH Polygon and it's moving and it's adding the base chain market cap is 126 million only as compared to the uh, Andu's market cap of 1.6 billion total supply is 10 billion and only 1.4 is circulating so I have to pay attention to that you know, when's these vesting periods going to be, you know, got to pay attention to these vesting period ending so that, uh, you know, I'll be able to exit before that. Um, numbers for IX swap, seven days up 9.7%, 14 days up 19%, 30 days up 30%, and on the year it's up 3,591%. So roughly 35X there for the year. I've been holding IX swap. We've been talking about this uh, for a while. And, uh, I don't know. I didn't even put much into it. It's, it, you know, I didn't put very much into it. That's 1500 bucks, I think, initially. And I don't think I ever added to it. I added more, I think, more to Andu than I did this. But um, I'm beginning to better understand what's going on with this. And again, it's not just having the IXS token, but it's also being able to participate on, you know, in the platform, buying token I securities. So it's interesting the way they've been able to do it with these licenses. But again, the whole U.S. thing. So let me know if you, any of you guys got the Palau ID, the digital ID. I asked the, one of the content creators if it helped in terms of being able to do other things with that ID. And he said, yeah. You know, the accredited investor thing is, it feels like it's more the G7 countries that do it more so than anyone else. But you can use that ID to get on an exchange. You can use that digital ID for other stuff. And I think um, I think they send you an actual physical card as well. So it might probably is worth the investment to get it, uh, to have it so that you can get it. I mean, if, think about being able to get involved in the tokenized securities and, you know, you know, when you get 20, 50, $100, being able to get some stuff and just, you know, be able to participate. And they are, they are very... You know they kind of, they're very VC kind of anti VC, which I like about them as well. But go check it out on your own. Let me know what you think. The YouTube channel is IX Swap um, with the space there. IX dot Swap. Listen to that June AMA. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, fam, I'm out. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.